What's she doing here? I, I asked her to meet me. Oh, do you mind telling me why? You'll see. Just wait. Son of a bitch, he's back. Lieutenant, call the 23rd, get a black and white down here. ASAP. Captain, no, no, not so fast. What are you talking about? I bailed him out last night, and I hired him. You hired the streaker? To do what? She can see. She can see. Son of a bitch. Sh Sharona! <gasps> Justin? What are you doing here? Friend of yours? We're still on for Saturday, right? Okay, Mrs. Mass, when did you get your vision back? A year ago. It was your accident at the supermarket. When I woke up, I had regained sight in my left eye. That's how it happens sometimes, after a blow to the head. It was a miracle. But you didn't tell anybody. No. No, you kept it a secret. If people believed you were blind, you could kill Sonny Cross. Nobody would ever suspect you. Why would you want to kill Sonny Cross? Revenge. He was driving the car that killed your parents and left you blind in Tampa 36 years ago. You knew he toured a lot. You waited for him to come through San Francisco, and eventually he did. They announced on the radio that Willie Nelson and his tour manager would be stopping by the station. So you got there early and put a note on the door. Then you waited. Before you killed him, did you tell him who you were? Yes. You killed my parents. This one is for them. And you made sure that the second shot was from 20 feet away. A crime no blind woman could have committed. But then Willie Nelson showed up in that alley. You didn't count on that. You couldn't just leave the scene, so... Help! Help! You had to pretend to be a witness. Jason Cross served a year and a half. Vehicular manslaughter? That wasn't justice. What I did last week, that was justice. How did you know? I knew the cross had been arrested in Tampa. When you mentioned that you'd grown up there, it seemed like a remarkable coincidence. But I didn't put it together until I remembered something you had done last week when you met Captain Stottlemyre. Me? When you came in with your right arm in a sling, everyone in the room naturally extended their left hand to shake, including Mrs. Mass. This was before anyone mentioned you had hurt your arm. So how could she have known that you offered your left hand? Thank you, Mr. Monk. You're thanking him? I am so relieved. It was tearing me up inside that that poor man was taking all the blame. You're gonna have to go to prison. I understand. Maybe I can talk to the DA about extenuating circumstances. There's only one thing that I want. What's that? A window. It's jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere. No one seems to care. Well, I do. Hey, who's in charge here? It's